I kind of couldn't move. I was like transfixed. It was really good. No, I've never seen it. And I studied uh, fine art um, at university and I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Our company motto is to print everything except air and water. So now I understand and I enjoyed a lot. And I felt quite tearful at times as well. It was quite, quite an emotional sort of thing to watch. We're doing very experimental pilot uh, with, uh, which is called, it's a project which is called Animotion. And it's a project which brings together music and painting in real time. Uh, but now we want to also try and add architecture to it and a projection art. So um, it's the very first time this will be, I believe, ever done live. And we're very excited about it. I got involved in this project because uh, Maria asked me to make some music for her to paint to which I thought was quite a strange brief and a, a, an interesting idea. Well, so far it's been going really well. We had a proper run through last night, which was the first time any of us had really seen what it would look like on the front of this building, which it was absolutely incredible. The main aim is to bring together music, painting and architecture. Uh, and also because of the element of projection art, which plays an incredible role, especially now. It's played much less of a role in previous animations because we simply project it onto a screen. And now the building becomes a canvas. The building becomes a major, major feature of animation. We got in situ and uh, I think when it was a good sound and looking at how what happened with the projected images on a building and the building itself is really amazing and the fact that we're in the Institute of Astronomy it was just um, really quite amazing. It's not just the music and not just the visuals but it's actually the environment that is part of the art in a way. I didn't think the idea of um, putting it on a big thing like this was necessarily going to work but as soon as Maria did the first stroke I thought wow that looks absolutely fantastic and in fact her art I think this is almost the best context for it because it's, she does it quickly and it's very dramatic and big gestures which seems to work on these big sort of huge canvases if you can call this a canvas but it seems to work almost in better than I've seen you know her in other, other contexts you know. I think of classical music as sort of advanced improvisations and that's how I write music so this is just like a, a stage before that in a way because we're actually improvising. Well, the, role, the result, I think, is absolutely stunning. Uh, I knew it would work as soon as she described to me what she wanted to do. I knew that I could help her do that, and I knew that there was, uh, there was a lot could be done in this way. I've never seen anybody paint directly onto a building using real paint. You see a lot of electronic work being done, you know, but this is something completely different, and I really love the idea that it's analogue, that it's paint, that there's an artist there with paint brushes, and yet we are using, uh, you know, sophisticated technology to transfer that straight onto the building. With a uh, building playing such an important part, we, we can show it to a lot of people and that everybody who would like to see it can see it because all venues in the walls are quite limited, not only by capacity, but unless you're in a club, you actually have to sit still. Whereas if you're in front of a building and uh, the way the image works on the building, it makes it more exciting to walk around. So it gives audience a freedom which it normally doesn't have in the, you know, conventional venues. We want to get away from rigidity of the show and make it as informal and as accessible as possible in the best possible way sense of this world. We don't want to cross over, we don't want to bring something together only in a natural way, but it blends in a way and it's all in the eye of the beholder. <laughs>